Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is part four of our video on looking at the new features coming to the May 2019 update. That feature update that should arrive sometime this month. So version 1903 or the next version of Windows 10 has of course new features in every video that we're doing every part uh, we look at three new features. So what are the three new features for uh, this video? Well, if you have a VR headset, if you are using virtual reality, uh, HoloLens for example, well, when you're in your virtual world, one of the things that will now change in the May 2019 update is that apps will appear within that virtual world. So any apps that you need to access, you won't have to you know, take off the headset uh, and, um, you know, do whatever you want to do and then go back and immerse back inside the VR world you're in. The apps will appear within your VR world uh, like a floating window, like you see here, for example. So there will be like a floating window that's going to appear and it's going to uh, tell you that, you know, some apps are um, accessible. You'll be able to just, you know, use them from within the virtual reality uh, headset, which is uh, nice if you have VR on Windows. The uh, other thing that is uh, brand new within the May 2019 update, if you're a user of PowerShell, so let's uh, get the PowerShell back. So you might be using the command line for PowerShell there's a new zoom in and out option. If you hold down the control key and use the scrolling wheel on your mouse or the control key and use the two, two fingers on your trackpad on your laptop, you can actually zoom in or out of the PowerShell. So here you see I'm zooming in into the PowerShell. So if things are too small, you can actually zoom in and look at whatever is happening, make things bigger, and of course, zoom out if you wish to zoom out. So here there's a little glitch that seems to have a refresh problem. But anyways, you can zoom in and out of your uh, PowerShell easily now uh, on your computer. Once again, you hold the control key, scrolling wheel on your mouse, or two fingers on the trackpad to make things bigger or smaller on the command line. So this is this could be useful in some cases. And the third option we're going to look at is, of course, in Windows 10, there's a lot of troubleshooting that has been part of Windows 10 for a long time. But this version of Windows 10 now has even more troubleshooting options. So when you go to Windows Update in Security and go to Troubleshoot on the left side in your settings, you now have more options of troubleshootings. So you have the, you know, get up and running internet connection, playing audio printer, Windows Update, but you got also Bluetooth, incoming connections, keyboard, network adapter, power, and, and so on. So there's a lot more troubleshooting that you can actually use. And this is nice if you're trying to fix something. One of the biggest problems in Windows 10 is that often the problems that you have are simple to fix and can be actually fixed by a troubleshooter. But there was a lot of those that were kind of missing. You know, troubleshooting options were not the best in Windows. But it's getting better and there's more options now. So simply go to your Windows updates in the settings. On the left side, you'll see troubleshoot. And in here, you'll have troubleshooting of all sorts of things within Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy this look at new features within the May 2019 update.